Welcome to 21st Century Health. I'm Jackie Bales. For patients with advanced age-related macular degeneration, the world has literally disappeared before their eyes. As it affects central vision, it robs them of the ability to recognize faces and facial expressions, to watch TV, cook, sightsee, and read. There is no cure, but as we're about to learn, a new implant could be of great help. We're joined by Joaquin Wolf, Chief Commercial Officer for Vision Care Ophthalmic Technologies. Welcome, Joaquin. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for having me. Joaquin, can you explain age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, and how it affects vision? Macular degeneration, as the name indicates, is a disease that affects the part of the retina that's responsible for your central vision, the vision that you, re that you use for looking at people's faces, um, the detailed vision that allows you to do uh, the basic activities of daily living. Hmm. Macular degeneration is the disease that affects the macula and that, th that part of the macula is no longer functioning and over time um, you develop a blind spot and therefore you, will, you lose those, those abilities to see people's faces. And societally, Joaquin, how major an issue is this becoming? Well, um, this is a disease that as people get older, the chance of them getting the disease increases and as our patient population grows, it's estimated that, it'll, that this disease will more than double over the next 10 to 15 years. So it's a serious health issue and it does affect people's quality of life significantly. So Joaquin, tell us about Vision Care Ophthalmic Technology and this new implant you've developed. Well, Vision Care Ophthalmic Technologies is a venture-backed company and this will be our first product entry into the market. Um, uh, we specialize in, in micro-optics and the ability to miniaturize um, a telescope that's it's very similar to a Galilean telescope, and um, that's, that's the core technology that we've developed, uh, which has enabled us to um, create this product. Wow. Well, let's see how this implant is helping in this 21st Century Health Field Report. There is currently no cure for the most advanced stage of AMD. The sudden loss of the ability to see and partake in normal activity can have a severe impact on an individual's quality of life. Vision Care has dedicated themselves to improving vision in those with end-stage AMD. We do have a new device that is able to uh, improve the quality of vision. The interocular telescope has done a phenomenal job of improving vision in some patients who are afflicted with the end stage of macular degeneration. So if someone's watching this program at this time and is trying to determine whether they be eligible or a good candidate for this form of therapy, I think, number one, you have to eliminate yourself if you've had cataract surgery in both eyes at this time. Number two, um, you have to know that the vision has to be decreased in both eyes because if you have good vision in one eye, that one eye will carry you and you would not see a significant improvement in your vision. With uh, the uh, implantable telescope device, um, healing is longer because of the larger incision and there's a time of adaptation to the device that's necessary for the patients. So patients need to be uh, understanding that it'll probably take weeks to even uh, months before the vision is, is uh, fully uh, um, useful. As a low vision optometrist, I'm going to be looking at their best vision with glasses as compared to the external telescope simulator. And we need at least two lines of improvement for it to be as successful as possible for them to be a great candidate. Vision is often taken for granted. Thanks to Vision Care, there is now hope in providing end stage AMD sufferers with improved vision. Finally, there is a treatment program that provides more consistent results with improved vision and a higher quality of life. For 21st Century Health, I'm Steve Michaels reporting. Joaquin, what exactly does the telescope implant do? What are its benefits? Telescope, what it does is it projects an image over healthy retina um, and it projects it three times normal size. So instead of relying just on the macula, which has been affected by the disease and no longer functions properly, um, it, uses, it utilizes the peripheral retina uh, to, to regain that central vision that's been lost due to the, uh, the macula no, no longer functioning properly. Joaquin, how much research went into this? Is the telescope implant FDA approved now? The, uh, the device was uh, approved by the FDA in 2010. Uh, it it, the approval came after a long, extensive study, uh, which showed the safety and efficacy of the, of the device. Hmm. How does it work exactly? I'm still not sure I understand. 
The telescope, the mechanism of action of how the telescope works, it projects an image over healthy retina. So uh, with macular degeneration, your macula no longer functions, and mm -hmm. so you're no longer able to use that part of the retina. So what the telescope does, it takes an image and it projects it over healthy retina three times the size, and so that now using the peripheral retina, patients are able to regain some of that social, the, some of that central vision that was lost uh, due to the due to the macular disease. So is this something that's easy for a patient to learn how to do? Um, this is a, it's not normal vision. It's, an, it's important for people to understand that the telescope is not a cure for macular dis, the macular disease, um, and it's it's something that will allow them to regain some vision. Uh, but it's not normal vision. It's it's not the type of vision where you can go out and drive. Um, so patients need to learn how to use this vision, and they work with specialists that will allow them to do that. Joaquin, thanks for sharing your new development with us. It just sounds like this could make an enormous difference in the lives of those whose age has basically robbed them of their sight. Thanks, Jackie. It's a pleasure being here.